northeastern Gaul, where modern Belgium is located. In the 19th century Ambiorix became a Belgian national hero because of his resistance against Julius Caesar, as written in Caesar's Commentaria de Bello Gallico. It is generally accepted that Ambiorix is a Gallish personal name formed with the prefix Ambio attached to Rix, but the meaning of the first element is debated. Some scholars translate Ambiorix as the king of the surroundings or king of the enclosure, by interpreting Ambio as a thematized form of Ambi meaning surroundings or else enclosure. Alternatively, Friedrich Otto Lindemann renders Ambiorix as the protector king, by deriving Ambio from the Proto-Indo-European compound h 2 mb pay 3 In 57 BC Julius Caesar conquered parts of Gaul and also Belgica. There were several tribes in the country who fought against each other frequently. The Aburones were ruled by Ambiorix and Catavalcus. In 54 BC Caesar's troops urgently needed more food, and so the local tribes were forced to give up part of their harvest, which had not been good that year. Understandably the starving Aburones were reluctant to do so and Caesar ordered that camps be built near the Aburones villages. Each centurion was ordered to make sure the food supplies were delivered to the Roman soldiers. This created resentment among the Aburones. Although Julius Caesar had freed him from paying tribute to the Atuatusi, Ambiorix joined Catavalcus in the winter of 54 BC in an uprising against the Roman forces under Q. Titurius Sabinus and L. Oronculius Cotta. Ambiorix attacking Roman soldiers, relief at the Liege provincial palace because a drought had disrupted his grain supply, Caesar was forced to winter his legions among the rebellious Belgic tribes. Roman troops led by Q. Titurius Sabinus and L. Oronculius Cotta were wintering among the Aburones when they were attacked by them, led by Ambiorix and Catavalcus. Ambiorix deceived the Romans, telling them the attack was made without his consent, and further advised them to flee as a large Germanic force was preparing to cross the Rhine. Trusting Ambiorix, Sabinus and Cotta's troops left the next morning. A short distance from their camp, the Roman troops were ambushed by the Aburones and massacred. Elsewhere, another Roman force under Q. Tullius Cicero, brother of the Order Marcus, were wintering amongst the Nervii. Leading a coalition of rebellious Belgic tribes, Ambiorix surrounded Cicero's camp. After a long while, a Roman messenger was finally able to slip through the Belgic lines and get word of the uprising to Caesar. Mobilizing his legions, Caesar immediately marched to Cicero's aid. As they approached the besieged Roman camp, the Belgi moved to engage Caesar's troops. Vastly outnumbered, Caesar ordered his troops to appear confused and frightened, and they successfully lured the Belgi to attack them on ground favorable to the Romans. Caesar's forces launched a fierce counterattack, and soon put the Belgi to flight. Later, Caesar's troops entered Cicero's camp to find most of the men wounded. Meanwhile, in Ducimerus, a leader of the Treveri, began to harass Labienus's camp daily, eventually provoking Labienus to send out his cavalry with specific orders to kill Indutiomerus. They did so, and routed the remnants of Indutiomerus's army. Caesar personally remained in Gaul for the remainder of winter due to the renewed Gallic threat. When the Roman Senate heard what had happened, Caesar swore to destroy all the Belgic tribes. Ambiorix had killed fifteen cohorts. A Belgic attack on Cutelius Cicero, then stationed with a legion in the territory of the Nervii, failed due to the timely appearance of Caesar. The Roman campaigns against the Belgi took a few years, but eventually the tribes were slaughtered or driven out and their fields burned. The Aburones disappeared from history after this genocidal event. According to the writer Florus, Ambiorix and his men succeeded in escaping across the Rhine. They do not appear in Roman records after this point. Caesar wrote about Ambiorix in his commentary about his battles against the Gauls, the Bello Gallico. In this text he also wrote the famous line, of these, three regions, the Belgi are the bravest. Ambiorix remained a relatively obscure figure until the 19th century. When Belgium became independent in 1830 the national government started searching through their historical archives for people who could serve as national heroes. In Caesar's De Bello Gallico, Ambiorix and his deeds were rediscovered. In 1841, the Belgian poet Johannes Nolet de Bravera van Stelen wrote a lyrical epic about Ambiorix. Furthermore, on September 5, 1866, a statue of Ambiorix was erected on the main market square in Tongren, Belgium, referred to by Caesar as Atuatuca, I. E. Atuatuca Tongrorum. Today, Ambiorix is one of the most famous characters in Belgian history. Many companies, bars and fritteries have named themselves after him and in many Belgian comics such as Suska and Visca and Jonk he plays a guest role. 
There was also a short-lived comic called Ambionics, which featured a scientist teleporting a Belgic chief, loosely based on Ambiorix, to modern-day Belgium. In the French comic Asterix, in the album Asterix in Belgium, Asterix, Obelix, Dogmatics and Vital Statistics go to Belgium because they are angry with Caesar about his remark that the Belgians are the bravest of all the Gauls. Thanks for watching.